Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Crowded Beaker Solves. Today we're continuing our series on gas law problems, um, dealing with gases and their pressures, their volumes, temperatures, and moles, and dealing with the relationships between them. So uh, if you haven't seen the first two videos on Charles Law and Boyle's Law, feel free to check those out first. And especially if you have some sort of uh, chart like this with a summary of the gas laws, you can Google this and, and, and you'll get a million of them. Um, but we're working our way through some of the gas law problems. And part of our challenge with these is deciding which pro gas law we're going to actually use. So you have to read the problem and take notes and just kind of see what you have and what you need to find. So take a look at this. Uh, five grams of oxygen, so that's a mass, is added to an empty to rigid two liter container, so that's a volume. Feel free to mark up your uh, worksheet or whatever it is you're working with. Um, it, it's very helpful. And it's at 25 degrees Celsius, so that's a temperature. And the question is, what's the pressure? So I have a P, a V, a T, and then a mass. So which of my gas laws is gonna help me do this? Now, you'll notice there's no duplicates, no two temperatures, no two pressures, no two volumes. So I'm looking for something that relates those without duplicates, and we end up down here at the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. So putting all these gas laws together says that the pressure times the volume under normal conditions is equal to N, which is the number of moles, times a constant times the temperature in Kelvin, and it has to be in Kelvins. So PV equals NRT. Now, I don't know how many moles we have. I'm going to try to find pressure, but I don't know how many moles I have. But I've been paying attention in chemistry class, and I know that I can take a mass and change that into moles. And once I have that, I should be able to do my, my problem. So it looks like I'm going to be using a, the ideal gas law. Again, I encourage you to make your grader very happy and put them in a good mood by just showing them what formula you're going to be using. So write it down. Then you're gonna substitute in the things you know. I don't know what P is, so that's there. A two liter container. Again, make sure to put units. Now I need to know how many moles that is. So I'm just gonna take a little side trip down here and make a little mole conversion. So five grams of oxygen. Remember that oxygen is O2, it's diatomic. It's one of those seven Brinkelhoff elements. One mole of O2 is 32 grams of O2. Okay, and a quick tap of the calculator says five divided by 32 is 0.16 moles. So again, I'm just using two digits because even though my calculator gave me more. So I'm gonna put that in for moles, 0.16 moles. And then you're gonna need the ideal gas constant. And your teacher has probably told you that there's three or four, three of them for sure, commonly used and they depend on what pressure unit you're in. So you should have those, you can Google those if you need to, um, but the pressure is supposed to be in atmospheres, so I wanna use the ideal gas constant that's in atmospheres, 0.0821 liters, atmospheres, moles, kelvins, and it probably seems superfluous to write all those units, but please do it, it makes your teacher very happy. And the temperature is in kelvins, so 25 plus 273 is 298 kelvin. So once we've got it all set up, I'm gonna multiply these three numbers together. Two one times 298, and divided by two to get that on the side, and so I got 1.9, I'm gonna keep only two digits, atmospheres of pressure inside this container. So again, convert to moles if you need to, put it in for moles, you have the temperature volume in this case, what's the pressure? So that's how you use the ideal gas constant. And I have another one for you to try. Here's the prompt. A 30 liter sample of argon has a pressure of 2.4 atmospheres at 15 degrees Celsius. How many grams of argon are in the sample? So take a moment, pause the video and see if you can get the answer for this one. Okay, congratulations if you were able to do it and come up with an answer of 121 grams of argon, then you did it correctly and good job on that. Again, we plugged in everything we knew. In this case, we didn't know how many moles we had. We had to figure out how many moles and then change it into grams first. So find out how many moles because you have pressure, volume, and temperature. Works out to be 3.05 moles of argon. The question asks for the grams. So I went to my periodic table and found out that one mole of argon weighs 39.9. 
So three times that is 121 grams of argon. So there you have it, a quick, fun, ideal gas law problem to get your day off to a good start. If you have a suggestion of anything else you'd like me to solve, you can send that to me. In the meantime, happy solving and have a great day.